Hey y'all, and welcome to my YouTube. Today is Sunday, March 7th, 2021. Happy third Sunday of Lent, guys. And happy new week, too. I hope we're enjoying our weekend. So, Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verses 1 through 37. It's a shorter one compared to yesterday's. Okay, so let us begin. Chapter 7, The Tradition of the Elders. Now, when the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So when the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honors me with my lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, by but to cling to human tradition, he went on to say. How well do you have set aside the commandment of God in order to uphold a tradition. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother, and whoever curses, and whoever curses father and or mother shall die. Yet you say, if a person says to father or mother, any support you might have had from me is koban, meaning dedicated to God, you allow him to do nothing more for his father or mother. You nullify the word of God in favor of a tradition that you have handed on, and you do many such things. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. Anyone who has ears to hear, ought to hear. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine. Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of a person, that is what defiles. From within the people, from their hearts, from evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. The Syrophophician Woman's Faith From that place he went off to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit, heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, 
a serial fitian by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. He, she replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this you may go. The demon has gone out of her daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Healing of the Deaf Man Again, he left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephephetheta, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astound, astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. <laughs>